But this is it, the grand final and deciding match. I don't think anyone expected it to go to a best of five, but we are at least finishing on a, a respectable map. Like CA2, no offense. And uh, Kilsen's going to start off with the red armor strengths with the yellow and mega. Strangely enough, the, uh, the lower yellow by the railgun hasn't been picked up, so strength's going to be able to take it. Another one of those right situations now. where Kilsen delays an item for no apparent reason. Right now, yeah, Kilsen's trying to hold that red room and. Uh... Oh, that was a good move from Kilson pushing in with the LG. Oh, that was an awesome frag there. And uh, I think that was a, a little bit from strength. It's a mistake he stayed in that with that railgun room way too long. True, 54% on Kilson after that long fight. And nice rail by nice rocky by strength. Sorry, but uh, Kilson's still going to be able to get on this mega. Oh, oh, very nice play. Very, very nice play. Very nicely baited by Kilson. Moves up in just a second. Nice roll by Killerson though, no, pushing Strengths back. Actually, nice, nice rolls by uh, Strengths, almost got in like red again, but uh, Killerson will pick up the frag anyway. And leave that 50 HP, perhaps expecting another fight first. Once that 50 HP afterwards. So it takes a 25, looks for the fight from Strengths. Mega and Red at the same time actually, so where does uh, Killerson need to position himself? I think in the red room, but he just needs to stay... Yeah, probably not on the red, but it's alright because Strengths isn't even looking at the Mega. Strengths went red as well, so that's a, a mistake, you could call it from Strengths. He chose the wrong item and he's lost out of both. Yeah, just an uh, assumption that uh, it's going out quite badly, I guess. I think that's the player, that's the difference with some players. I don't think Rafa would make an assumption like that, for example. He wouldn't sort of go for an he, item he and just hope that he was Yeah, he likes to find concrete evidence, you know what I mean? Like, he would want a footstep or a vision of the player and yeah. to know where they are to, to know where they're going to move like he wouldn't yeah you're right he doesn't assume he he wants concrete evidence in his investigations yeah that's probably what strengths lacks but at the same time if strengths can pull it off he can actually come out with two or three conversions oh, oh well. this is incredible from Kilson, and this is what we mean playing off the items there he moves straight into plasma uh, sorry into railgun room so he could you know get damage on that railgun and you know, he left Mega up on its platform. That is an awesome move from Kielsen. Surprise Strengths is still standing though. 13 HP, just find the 25 and a hit 5 HP ball. But and gets another 25 and a yellow. So uh, actually Strengths quite fortunate to, come, fortunate to come out of that one. Yeah, I think he should have chased down the kill a bit more then. You know, he he definitely, like, he jumped straight over Strengths. He hit a nice rocket onto him. He should have just chased him down for the kill and instead he let Strengths restack up. But <laughs> there's the crater, so... It is going to eventually go Kilson's way, but... It's just, oh, it's just an thinking? insane start. He's hitting 47 LG, 56 Ralkin, getting the frags on his strengths when he's about to take items. And look at this, is going to catch him. Strengths will have to go through the teleporter, and this is potentially another Rail shot from Kilson. He will connect and take the red, so... Strengths really in dire straits at the moment. What um, I thought Strengths could have done then is sacrificed himself for the red. Uh, he didn't do that, he decided to go through the teleporter, he, it was, he couldn't risk a drop down because Kilson could have killed him before he hit the ground. I think he should have just stayed at floor level and tried to, you know, basically sacrifice himself to steal that red. Yeah, sure almost like nice what he did. One. Yeah, almost like what he did then. Just to find some health. He's actually playing it smart and going to try and get the HP bubbles by red. Things kills them wouldn't have expected him there so early. And uh, the nice decision. Birds up in a couple of seconds. I don't think Kilson will drop. Actually, he could probably drop and take the fight if he hits his rockets. And so he's going to look for the rail shots, drop strengths to 40 HP, and uh, safely go and get the mega. And look at that. New strengths would go to the 50 HP. Yeah, Kilson's playing a really tight game at the moment, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think he was going to drop down on the red because strengths have position, but this is a pretty bold move from him, and we'll see how it pays off. Rocket, fi rocket fight around the pillars, and it does go his way, so he'll be feeling nice about that, and he'll be feeling confident, to, I think, to pursue the, uh, the momentum that he's got at the moment. Yeah, it'll be very tough for strengths to pick up seven frags in uh, just, under, just over five minutes. Rafa spoke on this map about it being quite difficult to pick up actual spawn fangs, but you can play off the items with the spawns, so...
At least if my memory serves me correct. It's uh, his translation of uh, playing this map on the spawns. Yeah, it's a, a very interesting map and, you know, I'm kind of glad it sort of mixed things up a bit. But at the start, you know, everyone, when it came in, I really disliked it and I, I so did everyone because they couldn't comprehend the, the spawn, the spawning system on it, you know, with the red and the mega being so far apart. Now, look at that by strength though. Takes kills and down a third in HP and takes red. We'll pick up the frag. This is his moment. He's got 200, 100. There's a yellow coming up, which he's going for. Uh, oh no, so wait, that was the other yellow. He's got basically, yeah, you know, just under the amount of time Wilson's had to make it 6-0 to make it uh, a tied game. So it's easily possible still, and uh, Strength looks like he, he really wants this frag. Yeah, two excellent rounds. Took Kilson down to 4 HP. Strength's only had to chase for it. And look, we have a massive delay on the Mega in the red as well, so... Uh, this is just, I'm not, yeah, Kilson's probably feeling a bit um, unlucky at the moment. Like, he's, he's not getting a nice spawn next to any decent weapons. He has now, but now he's got to restock up on everything, and he's not going to get a ton on red and mega. And now, I mean, we just saw then strength delay the red by five seconds. Yeah, so now there's a five gap. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely strengths this game to take if he wants it, bad enough. Needs those four frags. Mega's up in three seconds, he did delay it. This is going to be a delay for nothing if he doesn't take that Megs quickly and uh, actually I should allow Kilsen to get in on the red armor if he wants it. Kilsen strengths is going to come in running, Kilsen will take it. That is a big and uh, brave move there from Kilsen and uh, that was just... I'm not sure, it's almost like Kilsen watched from spectator point of view there and knew exactly what was going on. Yeah, and now look, Kilsen has managed to get himself 100 100 and progressively more difficult for Strengths now to pick up a frag. I think he's. He, I don't think he can rely on getting four frags in two minutes. Or at least one minute and 30 seconds, so he needs to get a frag soon. He needs to be on this next red. Yeah, I think Kilsen's, um, you know, he's not going to try to contest, you know, a big item like that Mega just yet. If he can get on, on this red or get some damage in on this red, then he, he might see him head around, but it looks like he's not even worried about the reds. So, I think he's pretty content with what he's got now, and he's just going to try and almost run the clock down. Yeah, Mega's up in seven seconds. Strengths is going to have a time on that, for sure. Kilsen plus back rally does connect and actually probably won't go anywhere, probably stay there and expect Shrek's not to come and now he did move off and it's a good job. Yeah, we're not going to see any more big drops from Kilsen, I think that, that one that he did and, and he got away with, that was enough for him. He really uh, just seems like to be just happy playing on the back foot, happy running away and uh, Strengths is basically playing the chase game and he's doing a really good job of it. Yeah, early today we do know Strengths did win the Zotac taking home 100 pounds, euros or dollars, whatever it is. So uh, if Kilsen wins this, not only does he get $100, but he also gets an extra 500 plus the uh, trip and hotel to Beijing. It'll be a big victory for him if he can hold on to this lead for another 1 minute and 20 seconds. And look at this, He's not, he doesn't even need to move, he's going to rock it. Strength yeah, only well, strength has 70. Yeah, strength is a bit low, so it's a bit, you know, he doesn't want to go in. Oh, 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 that is good game, in my opinion. That is uh, definitely over. That was just well played by Gilson, you know. He, he he basically played for the time. You know, he was like standing there and he's just like, I've got, you know, I'm, uh, I'm winning.